of the cell cycle and we are beginning with early prophase. As you can see, these are the centrosomes with the asters. And these are the microtubules. Here, you have the nuclear envelope with the condensed sister chromosids. It begins when the nuclear envelope disappears. This leads into late prophase. In late prophase, the nuclear envelope breaks up and the spindles start to interact with the chromosomes. They start to attach to the kinetochores in the middle of the chromosomes and then they become the kinetochore microtubules. The remaining microtubules start to slide past each other forcing the poles farther apart and the kinetochore microtubules start pulling the chromosomes from both poles and it starts to draw the chromosomes closer to the center. At this stage, the nuclear envelope completely disappears. A metaphase, which is the second stage of mitosis, the two centrosomes are at the opposite side of the cells where the chromosomes now begin to align in the middle of the equator. The midline where the chromosomes align is called the metaphase plate. So we are now in anaphase. This phase starts at the center of the cell. The microtubules begin to pull on the sister chromatids apart to the opposite pole. Once they are apart, the sister chromatids become chromosomes. At the same time, polar microtubules push on each other. In telophase, the sister chromatids are now at opposite ends of the poles where they have stopped moving. The nuclear envelope begins to reappear around the two sets of sister chromosomes. The nucleus begins to reappear. And this is now the end of mitosis. At the end of telophase, a, a ring of actin forms in the middle of the two dividing cells, forming the cleavage furrow for the two cells to split and become individual daughter cells. The four main cellular differences of meiosis versus mitosis is the pairing of homolog cells in meiosis, and this does not happen in mitosis. There are no homolog cells to be paired in mitosis. Another difference is in mitosis and cytokinesis, the cells break up into two different cells. In meiosis, there are two stages of cytokinesis where there, are, where there is a result of four cells. Another difference is that in mitosis, it produces somatic cells, and in meiosis, it produces sex cells. In mitosis, there is identical genetic material, while in meiosis, there is a possibility for a unique combination of genetic material.